Okay, I decided to pick this one because why not? Uh, the last video I did uh, was a few days ago. I can't remember. It was during the oh, weekend, I think. Yeah, because it's only Wednesday. So I did it Saturday night. And I said, you know, Gibson, my, you know, my friggin' beater uh, Epiphone Les, uh, SG. And I said, you know, da da da, shred and talk about whatever. And then the guy's like, did I miss the shredding? I'm like, no. I actually cut that shredding out because everybody is always like, dude, you just sit there and shred. And I'm like, I haven't shredded in a long time. You know what shredding is? Does anybody really know what shredding is? It's just playing fast. It's just ripping on this thing. Just it, you can. It could be sweeps, which is that's easy. That's a cheap, fake way to look like you're going really fast and doing something you're actually not doing. Playing every single note. You're not. You're you're kind of, but you're not. I used to know it. I'm not very good at it anymore. So beep. But I was watching a video I did eight years ago nine years ago eight or nine years ago and I'm playing my Dean uh, I'm, which I was trying to find I want to but I guess I don't have it here it's my Dean uh, dime flame razorback flame because I got that and I got the rebel which I think would just go over bad in the stupid ass times we live in because of the rebel flag but, uh, and that's all I think. I think, uh, you know, the flag, I, there's one right there. My mom's side of the family is from South Carolina. And they don't see anything wrong with it. And I was always brought up to, you know, that's just part of the history because blah, 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 blah. Don't, you know, I'm just saying, that's why I haven't pulled the guitar out and played it. Because I don't want to hear anything. But the guitar plays so good. And I'm not going to change the paint job. Eventually I'll pull the thing out and play it. But it was too much trouble to get to today. Actually I couldn't find it. I couldn't find either of them. And I have another Dean. That cut away with the. Looks like an SG. And then a Flying V. That's gone. I don't know where that is. And I can't. I'm calling everybody. Where is it? Do you have it? I don't have it. Do, you know. So. I've lost a few guitars. Anyways, there you go. I listen to a friend of mine that keeps going, dude, why do you play speed metal all the time? Every time you play guitar, speed metal. I go, dude, I don't play speed metal. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so this guy, if you don't sound like Ace Freely, then you're playing something wrong like speed metal. Unless you're tapping, he understands that. Then you're Eddie Van Halen. But who wants to be Eddie Van Halen? Well, you know, Eddie Van Halen is Eddie Van Halen. And I used to be able to tap. I don't I don't care about it. Where, where is it? I hate tapping. <laughs> this thing on nothing is cranked so this guy was going so the guy that said where's the shred I said I promise the next video you're gonna get it 
I don't have many stories to tell, except for like two things. Uh, there's this picture that I can't remember her name right now, but she, you know, she's always involved in Randy Road stuff, and uh, she did this picture, which I found horrifyingly depressing. And it's supposed to be a picture of Randy in Musonia, but ghost-like. And I'm like, that's depressing. You know, who wants to see that? That's that's That was my thought when I first saw it, the picture a few weeks ago. Uh, then someone sent it to me, and I'm like, ah, I don't like that picture. It's depressing. I like to think of Randy like he's on a tour. And now Craig, that he has moved to Sweden or something. And just not going to see him again for a while. And Randy's just on this perpetual tour that he's never coming back from. That's much easier than to think about what happened. And I don't like thinking about what happened. I don't like dwelling on it. And I don't like People rewriting history. They're starting to rewrite history. They're coming up with a bunch of stuff. This Eddie Eddie Van Halen, Randy Rhodes verse really never happened. It was mainly the people. It was the Quiet Riot camp and the Van Halen fans. Those were the ones that were rivaled. You know, Eddie and Randy were not really they were contemporaries they weren't rivals but I will say when Randy was interviewed about and asked about Eddie he said well you know what he's uh, had a big I can't remember what he said but he was kind like he always is when Eddie had his first interview and I think Guitar Player Magazine and this was after Randy had, uh, you know, he was gone. I don't even like saying it. Eddie goes, they go, so what do you think about Randy Rhodes? And they're like, oh, yeah. He, Eddie goes, yeah, that guy, man, he had me down to the bone. I mean, you know, he was, he was copying me exactly. I'm thinking, what did he do that you did? I mean, to me... They are two completely different guitar players. I mean, they're not even in the same universe. You know, th and that's it. I'm not going to get into details because if you can't figure it out, then that's your problem. <laughs> but it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. The way Eddie plays, self-taught, he does whatever he thinks, you know, and comes up with on the guitar... None of it's right. None of it's correct guitar playing. He doesn't even hold the thing or his, his you know, pick right because he wants to get that red finger ready to do that. But that's his. That's his deal. And people keep asking me, have you heard this, have you heard that? Because I read something about Eddie coming up, going up to Ed, Randy going up to Eddie and asking him a question about, uh, something about the guitar or the amp, something, a question. And Eddie said, blew him off. It's like, no, nah, I ain't gonna tell you. And Randy was so upset. So the friend of mine, we'll just call him John, <laughs> he says, oh, I think he was asking, I heard that he was asking him a question about how to keep the guitar in tune because Eddie was using something on his nut to, uh, you know, help before the Floyd, you know, thing happened. Floyd Rose came in. And I'm like, dude, graphite, everybody put graphite right here in their nut. Always. I mean, that's one of the first things I was told to do just to give, so the string, even if you didn't have one of these, if you're bending, you know, string, you know, get the strings and, you know, Blah, 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 you know, you know, pull them out, you know, when they're new, and then put graphite in the nut so the strings don't get hung up. And that was one of the things. 
you wanted to get your strings straight that's why this headstock is the way it is the strings do not turn they don't go down they're straight and the less chance of them going out of tune so there's that and then on the Randy Rhodes uh, bootleg thing that I put up, Kalamazoo, I was trying to answer this guy. He said, well, I like Montreal better. You know, Montreal, 81, King Biscuit. Randy Rhodes is flawless. In fact, the whole band sounds great. Even Ozzy sounds good on that. That whole show is flawless. And I wish they would put it out, like officially put it out, because that thing is kick ass. I have a really good copy of it. I have a pretty good copy of it. If you have a really good copy of Montreal, the King Biscuit, King Biscuit one, eighty one Montreal, send it to me, or I'll pay you for it, whatever, or I'll trade you a whatever, you know, the Kalamazoo for it. If it's a perfect quality, because I used to have it, but the tape is gone, I think. So, but that, to me, he's right. And so I was trying to answer him, and my answer, I didn't like what I put, so I hit edit, and instead of edit, I hit delete, I deleted the whole thing. So I, now, I, I wanted to tell him, dude, you're right. Montreal is way better than this show. The Kalamazoo one that I put up is only good for what it is. A soundboard recording, which is very rare. There's not many out there. I have three of them. One of them is out there now. Ozzy sounds horrible. And Randy is as is, is good as usual. But, you know, he's been... It wasn't one of the incredible shows like Montreal or there's a couple other ones that were really good really good so you know I'm not claiming that to be the best show ever I'm just saying look it here's a soundboard recording it's a good quality it has nothing to do with the playing has nothing to do with the way Ozzy sounds Randy's playing Rudy and Tommy the keyboard, Don Airy, whoever's playing. Nothing to do with that. It's just what it is. And he was right. Montreal is superior. But it's already it's already a, a, a recording. It's And apparently it's out there for everybody. I have not thought to look that one up. I don't know if I have it. I'm sure I do, but I don't know if I do. So if you do, let me know. If you even comment on this, shred. <laughs>
already. I got it out. I had to get it out. You guys won't let me. Doc! Just play slower! Nah, man. If I had my way, this, would, this is what I would do every single day. And I need to start doing it because it feels so good. If you don't, if you're like a guy like, da, 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 da. I hate it when like, this drives me nuts. There's a guy, he's got like a friggin' Jackson and a Marshall stack or a half stack. He's like, listen to this. <laughs> These things are meant to burn, man. What's wrong with you people? I hate that. Seems like mainly the guys that do that are usually holding a Les Paul and they have some sort of Marshall or whatever. Whatever amp, flavor of the month amp. And, uh, you know, they, they want to see how clean it sounds. Who cares how clean an amp sounds? My goodness gracious. <laughs> My goodness gracious. What am I, an old lady now? Yeah, this sounds clean. playing for today October 23rd 2019 your lesson in shredding or the art of shred isn't that, isn't that uh, Pantera the Pantera ruled and dime loved uh, Randy and you can hear it in some of his playing but Dime was just a beast on guitar. A beast. And that's what I like. 
Uh, I always knew that I would never be a Randy Rhodes type player. I try now that I'm older to slow down and, you know, make it sound like some sort of melodic, the leads. And everything else, even the even the uh, rhythms and stuff. But to me, the aggressive stuff, I love playing it. It's like driving a sports car. You feel good afterwards. You feel like you've had a workout. That's what that to me is guitar playing. You know, everybody's got their own thing. To me, that's what it is. That's what I like doing. Just friggin' going as fast as I can playing crazy little licks and I think it sounds cool and then hitting the bar and not using it for you know wee 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 you know oh I don't know how to do it with my finger so they I can see you know playing live there was a lot of aggression there but he was so graceful at his playing I mean his picking like Eddie's is very hard Randy was barely he was sometimes barely you know 